Okay, this is going to be a public rebuke of J.T. Does, Jacob Thompson, from Sinners to Repentance Ministries. Uh, he is in very serious error. He's in very serious pride. And just going to go through some scriptures. And this is going to be a sharp and strong rebuke of J.T. Does and his uh, serious error and wickedness he's into. Okay, So what happened was that back when Tim, back in uh, June of 2020, I think it was, Tim came out with two videos attempting to correct Brian and JT. And Brian Dellinger has also got some very, very serious uh, high-mindedness issues, arrogancy. And neither Brian or JT would take the correction. And this comes from a place of, of self-righteousness. This comes from a place of pride. This thing of just not taking correction and just getting mad at correction and not receiving reproof. And JT lied about why people left Brian's group, JT lied about why I left Brian's group, JT lied about why Tim rebuked Brian. Ridiculous. But JT does, did not like being rebuked. He didn't like receiving the correction. So all he can do is just try to say, well, Tim's condoning sin. Tim's condoning sin. And Brian lied about that too and saying, well, Tim, it is he got offended or whatever. Let's show this one here. What's with all the backstabbing and craziness with a brother that I've seen on live chats with you a lot? Uh, he got offended. That's the common lie. Nobody is condoning sin. People who break fellowship with Brian's cult, okay? We do it because Brian is just arrogant, high-minded, and just puffed up and prideful, and he won't take correction on anything. He just He's always right, apparently. And if you don't agree with him or try to correct him, you're lost. Just that simple. This wicked devil named uh, Uriah1611, his YouTube channel name, he goes around calling people lost if they speak against Brian Dillinger. He's a wicked devil. He needs to get saved. I don't believe that guy is saved. He, he could just be some troll or whatever, but he's a wicked devil. He called me lost because I, I just simply spoke against Brian, called me a Catholic or whatever. It's not one of their favorite tactics. They call you Roman Catholics or Jesuits if you speak against Brian. You see, cult leaders and cult members don't like it when you speak against their cult leader. That's simple. But JT does lie about Tim in the comments and said, oh, Tim is, you know, just loves his sin and wants to live in sin. And... What the point of contention was, was that Brian came out and was calling people lost over playing video games. Say people struggle with sin. I get that. I understand that. But when you start to defend it and start to say, well, there's nothing wrong with it. The Holy Spirit doesn't convict me. That's because you don't have the Holy Spirit. You're lost. And of course, I don't play video games. I personally don't do it. I don't, I'm not like this person where I just, I'm a video game addict or whatever. And I'm not trying to be self-righteous or prideful by saying that. I'm just saying that I personally don't play video games. I just, they're just not of interest to me. However, my stance is that, you know, I think video games are a liberty if they are in moderation and they're clean. Like, obviously, I did a video rebuking Jack Smack 77 for playing Grand Theft Auto. I mean, Grand Theft Auto is not covered in, under liberty. It's full of uh, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, cussing, extreme violence and graphic violence and all kinds of pornographic images. Yeah, that's not liberty. But something like Pac-Man or Minecraft, yeah, I mean, I have a channel called Servant's Life. I, you know, upload occasional Minecraft gameplays. I don't do it that much anymore because I'm currently, I just got a new job where I'm, I'm on night crew now. So obviously I'm very busy and very tired when I get back. But I, you know, finger liberty if they're clean in moderation. And Tim, I, from what I understand, he plays video games too. And he also believes that, you know, if they're clean and in moderation, played in moderation, then they're liberty. Like something like Pac-Man or Mario Kart or Minecraft is nothing wrong with that. Nothing sinful about that. Nothing graphic or violent in those games. But JT does, and Brian, uh, they say, oh, oh you know, you're, you're condoning sin if you don't agree with their stance on video games or whatever. And JT does also accuse me of loving my sin too because I broke fellowship with Brian. See, that's, that's the false argument. If you break fellowship with Brian, you love your sin. It's a wicked wickedness. But JT does is guilty of bearing false witness, okay? He's a false accuser. Going to turn to some scriptures. Okay, got a lot of scripture I'm going to, leave, I'm going to read. Proverbs 12, 17. He that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. Okay, JT does is being deceitful. He's lying about why people leave Brian's school. He's lying about Tim. He lied about myself. He's wicked. He's, he's speaking deceit. Proverbs 14, 5. Turn there in the King James Bible if you have one. Proverbs 14, 5. A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. Okay? A faithful witness will understand, okay, the issue was never about, you know, condoning sin or that kind of stuff. The issue was, first of all, Brian calling people lost and, you know, his cult calling people lost based on sins of the flesh. Okay? This is exactly why, Tim pointed out, correctly pointed out, this is exactly why 
Brian gets accused, and uh, in this group, Brian's little group of people he fellowships with get accused of backloading works and teaching lordship salvation, and basically being self righteous and teaching works salvation. Because they'll go to a sin, they'll say, okay, if you're in, you're in the sin, you're probably lost, or if you believe this way, you're probably lost. Okay, they don't have any grace for those who are on a different and lower level of sanctification. They just call you lost if you're in a certain sin. Like if you listen to rock music, then you're lost. You know, never mind of, of how, how do you know the person is not just simply new in the faith or like, how do you know, like, like, like you don't know where they are in the Christian walk. Okay. They could just be like, like Tim pointed out in his video, they could just be a, a, just a newly saved Christian, like a babe in Christ who just needs time to have that process of sanctification kick in. And I know Aaron Deering attacked me on that. I tried to say I was using sanctification to as like a license of sin. I don't use it as a license of sin. I just say that you grow in the knowledge and the grace of God over time. Okay, let me give you some scriptures on that. Okay, the process of sanctification can take time. And newly saved Christians will not always have this like this clean, pure, changed life right after they get saved. Okay, it can take time. Okay, in, uh, where's the verses? In... Ephesians 4 15, 2 Peter 1 5 to 8, uh, 2 Peter 3 18, 1 Peter 2 2, Philippians 1 6, 2 Thessalonians 1 3, Titus 2 11 to 14, Colossians 1 9 to 10, and Colossians 2 19 all talk about growing in the knowledge of God, growing in the grace of God, growing in the faith, and that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a process. Spiritual growth is a process. So a newly saved Christian just needs time to grow spiritually. Okay? Brian has to understand he's on a much higher level of sanctification than the people who follow him. So he has to have grace for those who are on a lower level. That was the whole issue. The issue was never about condoning sin. The issue was calling the people lost, regardless of what walk they are, what, where they are in a Christian walk, based on sin. And JT, JT does lie about the issue. He said, oh, they're condoning sin. It's a lie. It's a false witness. He's bearing false witness. Proverbs 14.25 a true witness delivers souls, but a deceitful witness speaketh lies. He's speaking lies. There's no way. There's no nice way to put it. He's a liar. He's a liar. And he's a false accuser. Uh, Proverbs nineteen verse five. A false a false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Okay, I said this before I said this to other people. I do pray for the chastening of the Lord to come upon JT if he does not repent. Okay, and I'll get into that later on. Okay, but a false witness will not be unpunished. Okay, JT does is could lose rewards over this. Brian could lose rewards over the way they've been acting. Okay, they've been acting very childish. The way Brian and JT have been acting, they did not deserve to be called elders. Okay, just the way they've been acting. Not to mention the fact that JT does. I mean, I'm, I'm 19 years old. Currently at the moment, I'm 19 years old. Uh, as of December 27th, 2020, okay? So I'm 19 years old. But um, JT does, is only about one year old, one or two years older than I am. So he's not uh, an elder in any sense of the word, okay? He's too young to be an elder, okay? So I, like, I don't know where all these young kids are coming from who think they're qualified to be an elder. It's ridiculous. Think they're qualified to teach at their age. He may know a lot of Bible. He may know a lot of scriptures. But a lot of the qualifications for an elder are based on your behavior, like a, um, like a not being greedy, filthy lucre, you know, not a brawler, not a striker, of good behavior, apt to teach, patient, you know, meekness, all that stuff, okay? Maybe not meekness, I, I might be confusing it with the works of the flesh, okay? See, I'm not perfect, I'm still infallible, and I'll admit to my faults. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, okay? So, I'm not prideful, I, I try my best not to be prideful, I try my best not to be, you know, I try my best to take correction, okay? Because I'm still young in the faith, I'm still green, I'm still new, I'm still learning things, okay? You know? But when you stop taking correction, when you don't take correction, and to get to that later on, when you don't take correction, that's a big problem, okay? But we're going to read a few more scriptures. Proverbs 19, verse uh, 9. Sorry, I almost said 5. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Again, false witnesses will not go unpunished, they won't get away with it. Proverbs 21, 28. A false witness shall perish, but a man that heareth speaketh constantly. Okay? A false witness will perish. They're not going to get away with lying. JT does will lose rewards over this. Okay? And again, on the thing of me being prideful, you know, I'm just, you know, sometimes like first, like 2 Corinthians 
uh, 12, 2, 12 says, you know, I do have to speak like, speak like a fool. I'm not claiming to be a minister or anything. But when I'm saying I'm trying not to be prideful, I'm just saying I'm trying, I don't try to speak like a fool, okay? I'm forced to speak like a fool because then I'll get attacked and that kind of stuff and everything. It's ridiculous. Proverbs 25, 18. Okay? Sometimes you're forced to have to speak like a fool, okay? I'll have to say, like, you know, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. You know, and obviously the situation doesn't directly involve me, but Tim is a good friend. He's a brother in Christ, and I'm going to stick up for him. Proverbs 25, 18. And it hits me hard, too, because, or well, it's kind of personal for me as well, because JT does attack me as well for leaving Brian's cult. So, uh, Proverbs 25, 18. A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maul and a sword and a sharp arrow. Look at JT. He's very bitter and nasty. Very, very arrogant, very high-minded. He's a maul and a sword and a sharp arrow. He's bearing false witness. Next point. JT Does did not want to take correction. Okay, when Tim tried to correct JT Does, JT Does didn't take it. Jacob Thompson, I think it's his whole name, Jacob Thompson did not take the correction. His pride got hurt. Okay, he's very high minded and puffed up. And when he got rebuked, this is the problem with these younger kids getting into ministry. This is why I say, you know, this is why I say I'm not going to get into ministry until I'm in my 30s, if I do ever get into ministry. And this is why I say younger kids like JT should not be in full time ministry because they're prideful. They're very arrogant. They think they know, they know everything, you know. I mean, people in their early 20s, like, again, I'm 19 years old. People in their early 20s uh, have a lot to learn, okay? I still have a lot to learn, okay? I still have a lot, a lot of growing and, and spiritual maturing to do, okay? These young kids, like, like these young kids who are just coming out of Brian's cult and thinking they're fit to be in full-time ministry, that's wrong. It's wicked, Okay? I've always said that you should be you should be at least in your 30s to you're in full time ministry. That's that's my stance on that. And it's funny because to point out a bit of hypocrisy from Brian, Brian says Brian would attack Tim for being in ministry at a young age. I saw his video attacking Tim back in June. Someone said, "Oh, you know these younger kids shouldn't be in ministry." And Brian harbored the comment. Yet Brian is promoting JT does who's younger than Tim from what I understand. So wait a second. So Brian says it's wrong for people to be for young kids to get in the ministry. Yet he promotes JT does. Um, utter hypocrisy right there. And of course, JT does is not fit to be in ministry. Okay, I'll just come out and say that. He's not qualified to be in ministry by the way he's behaving. Proverbs 1 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. He's a fool. Okay, he's despising wisdom and instruction. He's despising reproof and correction. JT does. He's a fool. Okay. Proverbs ten seventeen. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 17. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof erreth. J.T. Does and Brian Dillinger are some very, very serious error because they're refusing reproof. They're refusing correction. Okay? Their pride is not allowing them to see correction. Like Obadiah 1, 3 says, the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Okay? Their pride is deceiving them. Their pride is preventing them from taking and receiving correction. Uh, Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 1. Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge, but he that hateth reproof is brutish. Good description of JT does. He hates reproof. When you try to reprove him and correct him, he gets all mad. He gets very angry because his pride again got hurt. Proverbs 13, 1. A wise son heareth his father's instructions, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. You see, JT does. He's a scorner. He's constantly scorning Tim and that kind of stuff. He's not hearing the rebuke. Because, again, it comes down to pride. He, his pride got hurt. JT does, or sorry, Proverbs 15, verses 10 and 12. Messed up right there. See, again, I'm, I'm still fallible, and I'll admit to being fallible. Okay? I'll admit that I'm far from perfect. Uh, Proverbs verses, chapter 15, verses 10 and 12. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Okay? Could be chastening coming. If JT does not repent of his pride and does not take the reproof and correction, I pray for God's chastening to come upon him. Verse 11. Hell and destruction are before the Lord. How much more than the hearts of, of the children of men? Verse 12. A scorner loveth not, one that reproveth him, neither will he go unto the wise. Okay, JT does has a lot of hatred for Timothy Conan, for brother Tim Conan. He calls him a false prophet and all this other stuff. It's wicked. He does not want 
because he didn't want to take the pr- proof and correction. Because again, it hurt his his uh, high mindedness. Proverbs fifteen thirty two. Going to be covering a lot more scriptures. Proverbs fifteen thirty two. He that refuseth reproof despiseth his own soul, but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. JT does. He's he's despising his own soul. Okay, he's going down a very dark path. Same thing with Brian Dillinger because they they're despising reproof and instruction. They're not taking the correction. Okay. The final point I want to bring up is that the pride of JT, the hide mindedness, the the just arrogancy, it's wicked. JT does need to repent of his pride. He is a seriously repent of his pride. Okay. Proverbs eleven verse two. Turn there in the King James Bibles. Proverbs chapter eleven and verse number two. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. Shame on JT does for his pride. I'll just put it out there. It's wicked. Proverbs 13 and verse 10. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well-advised is wisdom. JT does is very contentious because he's prideful. That's why. It all comes back to pride. See, pride is one of the most is the worst sin out there, pretty much. One of the worst sins out there, because pride is what keeps a lost man from getting saved. Pride is what keeps a uh, saved man from hearing correction and instruction, like JT does in Brian Dillinger. Proverbs fourteen and verse three: The mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride, but the lips of the wise shall preserve them. JT does just goes out and runs his mouth against him. His mouth is foolish. The mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride. His mouth is foolish and a rod of pride. Just that simple. Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Again, JT does is heading down a very dark path with his haughtiness and pride that he just is displaying much more. Same thing with Brian Dillinger too. Both of them, again, got very serious issues of pride. Proverbs 29, 23. 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. You know, his pride is going to bring him low. His pride is going to lead to serious problems and serious chastening of the Lord. Okay? So to conclude this, okay? JT does, may the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, and may he rebuke your lies, your false witnesses against brethren who just simply disagree with Brian, and your lies, your false acu- your false accusations, your just high-mindedness, okay? It's wicked, okay? And let me just say this right now. If you don't repent of your pride, I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ, our Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray he brings a very serious and severe chastening upon you, JT does. Okay, I pray he brings a severe, serious chastening upon you until your pride and high-mindedness and arrogancy is broken. Okay, I pray that. Okay, I pray you repent. I pray, I really do. You need to repent of your pride. Okay, may the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Okay, you need to repent. And again, if you do not repent, I pray the Lord Jesus Christ brings a severe chastening upon you. So, anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. May the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, JT, and I pray you get right with God before it's too late. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.